Hey guys, for those of you who uh, watched my channel, you would have seen that I've uh, made a video about a homemade humidifier, which is this one I'm running here. Um, I'm still running it, it's, it, it runs without a hiccup, but I've made a few improvements and a few changes. So I thought I'd just make a video on that just to show you guys exactly what I've done. Um, it's really, it's improved it substantially, um, and it really, I can really keep the, the humidity levels in this room. Uh, at, a, at a real precise point now from what I've done. So obviously the original video, if you haven't seen it, it's on my channel, you can go watch it, um, which just has this device here and a pipe coming out the top, which just sort of vents the air out the side. Um, I've done two major things, three things I've sort of, two major things I've done to improve it and I've changed about three. Um, one is that this fan goes 24-7 now. Now that's, that what that does is serve to increase the airflow around the room and the way it does that is that it now just doesn't dump the humidification out the pipe it actually runs it up to the roof and along this pipe along the center here now this pipe has got holes drilled all the way down it spaced along it and so there's actually air constantly flowing out this tube now what that does is that just circulates the, a nice, nice, real sort of still breeze around this room at all times. It's not quite a breeze, it's just like a, a slow airflow around the room. I mean that just keeps the air moving. Um, it goes behind me, it goes back to about here. I've actually got a little kink where I'm going to drop it down, take this fan out of the way and run it just towards the end. But I haven't done that yet because I haven't had to put mushrooms down here just yet. So this has got a nice amount of air holes in it and it's just... It's just moving the air around this room nicely. Um, and how that humidifies is I used to run an Inkbird controller out here. So I used to run this Inkbird controller but I've had a lot of problems with those. Um, I'm going to make another video about that specifically comparing it to my new device, the percentage timer here. Um, but So I've taken that off which used to control the humidifying box down here and I've connected a percentage timer to it. Now this just connects to the to the ultrasonic mister which is in, located inside. So what I can do is I can turn this on and it's set for, I usually set it for two minutes and then I can control how much percentage of that two minutes I want it to run for. Now I've been having it at about 25% and that's been keeping my room at about 90, 92% uh, humid, humidification. Um, so I'll turn that off and I'll turn it back on and you guys can watch how what it does in here. So if we go in here, now you'll see you'll see the humidity getting pumped out of my um, my ventilation system along the top. So that'll run for, I usually keep it at about 25% to 2 minutes, so that'll run for about 30 seconds and then stop for 30 seconds and the air moving through the box down here will continue to sort of circulate that that humid air around the room and it's, it's really good it, it keeps this room a nice little sort of cloudy area in here so every time you open that door you can just see this sort of the sort of cloud and it used to the ink bird controller used to humidify the room and it used to get real cloudy and it used to get real clear and it and it wasn't very precise at keeping the humidification up uh, especially at, at, at levels above 90 but this percentage controller does the trick nicely you can see that's turned off now and so that's just going to slowly push all that that sort of cloud around the room so I'm very happy with that how it's done I still have a few things to tidy up in here um, we're slowly chipping away at it but um here that's the that's the updated humidifier homemade humidifier um, which is really doing the job nicely all these all these one other thing all these pipes um, all slope down so they all slope down and then this one slopes down and so if it gets water built up in there um, any of it just drains back down into here um, and then once a week I get out and give that a good clean out and I put a little a little bit of um, um, oh, what's the stuff uh, um, H, I'm thinking H2O2 uh, hydrogen uh, the, the bloody bleach stuff I can't think of the name off the top of my head sorry um, but the bleach it's like bleach I put a little bit of that in there and it um it helps keep the water um nice and clean